Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to crack open the last four boxes of Ravnica Allegiance from our second booster box. And with me today to do the pack blessing duties, we have Nissa. So let's get started. Gideon did not get us the great pulls in the previous episode, so we are trying another Planeswalker. So without further ado, let's get started here and at the end of the video I'll be tallying up the value for the entire box, so hopefully we did pretty well this time round. And if you haven't checked out the first box opening, I'll pop a little thing up in the corner. We actually opened a whole box of this over the weekend and that had some pretty fantastic value. So without further ado, let's get started. We have 10th District Veteran Fairy Jewel Duelist. There we go, Gore Clan Wrecker, Civic Stalwart, Soraform Hybrid, Burning Tree Vandal, Catacomb Crocodile, watch out for that guy, Imperious Oligarch, Act of Treason, and <laughs> the Zerta Goblin, Goblin Berserker! So this guy, 2-2 two, two for 2 mana, Gruel Colors with Riot. Enter the battlefield with your choice of a plus one plus one counter or haste. Pretty cool. So that's first uncommon. Spire Mangler. A split card here. We have Carnival and Carnage. And rare is Smothering Tithe. So this is an enchantment for four. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two. If the player doesn't, you create a colors treasure artifact token with tap. Sack this artifact and add one mana of any color. Alright, and oh, this is cool. We get a foil Zertar Goblin. Very nice. And a Simic Guildgate and an Ooze token. Okay, onward. I'm not sure how much Smothering Tithe goes for, but I'm sure we can do better than that. Right, Nessa? Next up we have Knight of Sorrows, Coral Commando, Gravelhide, Goblin, Goblin, Shaman, Prowling Caracal, Rakdos Trumpeter, Mammoth Spider, Goblin Gathering, Summary Judgment, Ceruli Caretaker, Aeromunculus, Homunculus Mutant, and a split card here, we have Depose and Deploy for the Uncommons. Cry of the Carnarium. I have not seen this one yet. That is pretty cool. Weird looking beast. Gates ablaze and the rare is a Rick Smarty Reveler. So this is a creature human shaman 2-2 two, two for 2 mana with spectacle 2. Swamp and a Mountain, you may cast a spell for its spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn. And when Rick's Mardi Reveler enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card. If Rick's Mardi Reveler's spectacle cost was paid, instead discard your hand. Then draw three cards. And are they juggling flaming skulls with nails in them? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, if we're going for like heavy metal cards, I would say that's up there. Rakdos Skillgate and a Spirit Token. Okay. Pack number three. So we've got some cool artwork, but nothing crazy value wise yet. I'd like to round up the box with a Mythic or two, that'd be nice. Or a foil Mythic. Next up, we have Prying Eyes Spear Spewer. Goblin Warrior! You thought I forgot there, didn't you? Concordia Pegasus, Axbane Beast, Dead Revels, Burn Bright, Grasping Thrall, Skitter Ill, another one of these fish crabs, Debtor's Transport, so there's a Thrall, Orzov Locket, and a split card here we have Consecrate and Consume. Trollbred Guardian, this guy was pretty cool, uh, faced him at the pre-release over the weekend. Cry of the Carnarium, you know what, I think this one's going to be the pick in the uncommon slot because we've got two in one video. And rare is Taser Karlov, legendary creature, human advisor, 2-4 for 4 mana. 
If a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. And creature tokens you control have Vigilance and Lifelink. And fantastic artwork here from Magali Villeneuve. Very nice. I'm really liking the art direction in this set. And a Zoria Skillgate. And an Emblem of Domri. There we go. That'll come in handy if you saw the video the other day. Alright, final pack here, and I should point out this will not be the last pack of Ravnica Allegiance we open on the channel, oh no, the patrons will be hungry for lots of Ravnica Allegiance I bet next month, so we'll be cracking open a whole bunch more then, stay tuned for that, and of course we have the bundle and the Debt Builders Toolkit, so cracking more packs there too, stay tuned. Last pack here we have Rubble Belt Runner, Prowling Caracal, Shimmer of Possibility, Open the Gates, Thirsting Shade, Growth Spiral, Exposed to Daylight, Grotesque Demise, Sphinx's Insight, Burn Bright, and <laughs> for the Uncommons we have a Clamour Shaman, Goblin Shaman! Junk Troller. Essence Capture. And the rare. We've got a, what is a Simic? Breeding Pool. Fantastic. So, I don't think I've pulled one of these Shocklands yet. This is a Land Forest Island. So, tap it for Forest or Islands. As Breeding Pool enters battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters battlefield tapped. Fantastic finish on the last video of this short series of box number two. Raktos Skillgate and a zombie token. Okay, so my picks today. Ooh, now this is tough. Like normally, I would probably say like Shockland, no question. But I'm going for the Taser Karlov. Just because of the fantastic artwork there. I mean, look at the detail. Amazing. And then in the uncommons, let's see, there was one. Yes, this guy. Just double check there aren't any others that catch my eye. I think, yeah, we've got two of him. So, yep. So that's what we're going to pick. So in the uncommon slot, we have... Cry of the Carnarium. Sorcery for three. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Exile all creature cards in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. If a creature would die this turn, exile it instead. That is pretty powerful. If your ears bleed, it's a party. If your eyes bleed, it's a Rakdos party. Sounds about right. Okay, so there are the uncommons and then in the common slot. And why do these cards keep wanting to slide around here? Um, let's see, that's interesting possibility. There's a couple here I've highlighted before. Try not to take too much time digging here. Yes, I think we will go. Okay, we'll go with that one that I saw earlier. Now I need to find it again. Here we go. Thankfully, didn't have to do too much digging. We have Growth Spiral. So this one, the artwork caught my eye. Thought that looked pretty interesting. Instant for two, draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. And I like these uh, Simic cards with the foil. They really do a good job on the foiling on these. So that is pretty cool. All right, so leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree with my picks. And before I forget, I'll pop up the value here, right about here. So see how well we did there. I'll be interested to compare that with the first box. I'm betting the values have dumped quite a bit over the last week or so. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. 
And stay tuned, we've got a bundle and deck builders toolkit coming up. So looking forward to that stuff. Thanks for watching and have a great day.